Hey, this is Kimothy Innes, otherwise known as Key Innes of Key Creative Studio and Master Drawing Japan. Uh, this is my second uh, video, uh, part of a series uh, about um, how to draw um, uh, anatomical landmarks, in this case the shoulder blade, um, otherwise known as the scapula. Um, so, um, the good news is that for this one, um, I'm really just uh, I'm jumping right into uh, uh, drawing the figure here. Uh, in the last video, I already went over the, the particulars in terms of the anatomical structure of the scapula. You know its relationship to the shoulder blade, uh, the muscles that are on top of it. And um, here, I really wanted just wanted to, to to demonstrate just myself just drawing the figure. And um, showing how I'm I'm using the, uh, the the shoulder blade as as a landmark um, for me to um, uh, to navigate around um, drawing this figure. Now, uh, pretty early in, you could see you know that I it was pretty light, but I I I I, um, I broke down what what the uh, um, what the gesture is uh, pretty pretty quickly. And you know we have some kind of um, hero, warrior, or the other. You know he's um, kind of um, um, hunching over a little bit. Um, uh, head is leaning leaning forward, and um, um, obviously you know he's he's quite powerful and strong. You know so I I, I wanted to sh to show uh, some of the the drama of of him. Um, uh, hunching forward and and showing like the musculature in in his back. Now, in in terms of um, actually drawing, see you see here, like I'm what I'm I'm I'm, I'm fleshing it out a little bit more uh, in terms of the um, the shoulder blade and scapula. Um, the the thing is, like e even if if you do have like a um, like a strong uh, strong looking figure or character, um, um, it's not the best idea to like to like overwork it um you know you know all the anatomical parts that you're using or just just using just anatomy um in terms of in terms of um uh bringing a, a sense of um realism and believability to to your to your drawing it's just a tool like you you, you don't you don't want the uh anatomy to be the story um um in my in my opinion, you know, there were some comic book artists um, in the '90s. Actually, probably maybe even still today. I, I'm not sure, but um, you know, they were really really big on on drawing uh, the anatomy. And then, like when you when you look at it, it's kind of like like you you see like the muscles and things like that first, um, as opposed to uh, the gesture, which is telling the story. So my my point is that you you want um, you want to use your knowledge of anatomy to help tell the story, right? You don't want the anatomy to be the story, so don't you know be too fixated too fixated on it. Um, the main thing is like to understand it and be able to use it, um, so you know you can have the freedom, you know, to um, uh, to you know draw the figure and even to to design it. Okay, so. Another thing, um, in terms of um, the, uh, the 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 scapula um, or any other um, anatom anatomical landmark, the reason, the way that I use it is really by understanding its relationship to other things around it. So, in other words, like the I I know that the, the scapula um, is uh, very close. In its function to the um, to the uh, the upper part of the omnihumerus, um, as well as um, the um, the trapezius and the um, what do you call it and and, and the clavicle. Um, so uh, well, I'm sorry, I don't want to get too too technical with these things. That's another thing. I don't, I don't want to um, confuse you guys. You know, with too much anatomy. But my my point is, you know, I I, I know you know what's what its function is and what its its relationship to 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 other uh, anatomy parts that are, are around it, because if 
if like if the scapula is in one position you know that that means that like the arm has to be like in, in in another kind of position right so right now you can see like this this hero you know the the, the scapular region um it's it's flexing right um so um in this position that that means that um, the scapula, you know, has to be like like pushing back. That means like the arm has to be pushing back in order to to have that that kind of um, uh, that kind of like depth to it. Um, if it was moving forward, um, it would look a little bit flatter, actually. Okay. So. Uh, just just a little uh, tip here. If you notice, like how I'm drawing, um, you see that I, I I switch between like drawing like with the uh, the flat uh, the flat side of the pencil um, for like when I'm drawing for like large ideas, like big ideas, um, getting the gesture down, um, getting like the very like large um, those 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 very uh, rhythmic sweeps um, where I'm drawing through. Um, I only switch to to the fine point when I'm I'm trying to get like uh, small details and things like that. Like for example, like when I was uh, uh, lay, laying things down for 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 the hand, um, but I, I yeah I might switch to uh, using the fine point, and um, I'm not too happy with it with this hand here, um, you know. You know, of course, like drawing hands are are are, are always um, difficult for everybody. You know, because um, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, they, they you know they have like these f f more than more than more than five points of articulation. You know, because each finger has like has 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 three points of its own articulation, and um, it, it can be quite um, you know uh, confusing sometimes so the, the the trick is you know is just, just to make like the hand gesture like very um gestural um and um you know try to think of it as a group as opposed to like just like drawing like individual fingers even if if you if you're drawing several fingers at the same time you know think of it as, as a group like you know almost like like a mitten um that might help you guys so so yeah you know so again here in terms of like the um uh, the the shoulder blade um, because like this 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 man has a has a lot of a lot of mass um, on on his scapula um, that's creating like a, a great sense of depth so that so that that's why we have like that shadow like dropping down below it. There's another one. Um, the other scapula you notice um, on his. Um, on his right side, not not you know the the, the one on, on the on the left side of course is, is easy to see, but but the one on the right side, um, you know that's also like the scapula like popping out as well, um, and of course you know because you know because he's very very strong, you know there's there's a very big contrast in terms of like that top plane and then like the plane that's below it, um, you know because of the um, uh, the, the dramatic change in planes. Um, uh, you know, because of its size and, and design. I think I'm I'm almost just about done here. Um, yeah. So so this this you know this warrior character of of course is uh, uh, something from um, uh, Conan the Barbarian or something or something like that. Um, so, you know, the, the ca ca characters like, you know, like heroic characters like Tarzan or like, or like Conan or whatever, you know, I mean, you know, they, you know, they, you know, their, um, their skin is the costume, right? You know, so, um, so it's always, um, good, uh, to be able to like understand like anatomy, you know, so, you know, so you, you, you can use that to, to, to make, uh, make the story more, more dramatic. All right, so I'm I'm doing I'm doing an, another um, uh, powerful uh, hero character um, from from the back, and his arms are spread out. Um, you can see, like again, you know the, the what to look out for the scapula um, 
or the sh or the shoulder blade um, are these these triangles and um, that are like resting on your back and um, on top of them you, you have um, your um, uh, your trapezius muscle which is like sitting kind of like on top of it and then in certain positions you know particularly like you know if the person is is like flexing their their, their shoulders back um, the, the trapezius is going to swell and um, you, you're going to get these dimples um, in the corners um, um, you know, partially, partially because of of the the, the scapula, like like press, pressing in, and like the the uh, um, the trapezius um, um, uh, 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 sorry expanding, expanding outward. Um, another uh, um, thing I like to keep in mind, like when when I'm drawing. The, the the scapula if you look at the deltoid which is basically it's, it's that that round muscle that's like sitting on on top of the shoulder so if, so if you're looking um at let's say his um his right shoulder um you, you can see that there's a um uh, like 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 a um like a horseshoe kind of dimple that's that's sitting there and um i i use that a lot um, in terms of like like navigating, like at what point the uh, uh, the, the the scapula is fitting into that. So I, 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 that's that's one of one of my, my my favorite ways in terms of of like navigating, like how to um, how to render out like the the, the deltoid. Here I'm, 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 you know, I, I just, I just laid, laid in the, um, uh, the latissimus dorsi, which, which is also is, uh, um, um, very important because that, that's like sitting like right, as below, the, um, uh, the scapula, you know, so that's, it's, it's helpful to know, um, how, how that relates as well. Yeah. So the the whole thing is, is it's really just having like a really like a, a good understanding of like how one muscle relates to the other one. My my advice um to you like when 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 you draw when you when you're like learning like to to draw a certain part of the body, try to draw the 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 body part or or the 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 anatomy uh part that is uh that is connected to um, or that that it, it's adjacent to, um, you know, having having that understanding actually is, is going to create a, a a greater sense of cohesion in your drawings. Like when, once once it's all finished, um, you don't want to you don't want a, a drawing that looks like 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 a Frankenstein kind of drawing or like you know like you 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 put it together like made out, out, out of Legos or something like that, right? Because ev everything, all the muscles are connected. Every you know. Um, every muscle is connected. Every bone is connected. You know, so I know it's that that old, that that stupid rhyme. You know, the the um, <laughs> you know, you know the um, the the hip bone is you know is connected to 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 the uh, you know to to the leg bone, leg bone connected to the to the whatever. But you know, but it, seriously, you know, every everything is is connected and, and it has it has an impact. Um, everything has has an impact on 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 everything else in terms of like how it functions or how how would how would it how would it it, it appears you know so okay i'm 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 I'm, re I'm redesigning this this arm here because i i wasn't satisfied with the uh, uh, with the angle, it, it was it was a little bit too um, uh, a little bit too on a little too horizontal <laughs> uh, for 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 my liking. So I thought I thought I would raise raise it up a, l a little bit here. So now you know you know in terms of like like how much anatomy like you know you 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 put 
you know into your drawings it's really yeah you know, you know it's, it's a matter of taste it's, it's a matter of like what kind of story you, you're trying to tell um you know if you look at like a lot of the drawings of like the old masters that there are lots of drawings um lots of sculptures of um of nude figures and um you know the, that that sort of thing is is what was known as like the the heroic nude um like showing showing the body in, in its in its natural form but but showing it in, in a very romanticized and dramatic way um so that that's one of the reasons why i, I like i like to draw these kinds of characters too um you know um, even though you know it you know the, the, these are like characters like from sword and sorcery or or you know conan or something like that um you know for us like this this is our our generation's um heroic nude so you know i mean i'm sorry and, and my, my 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 point is that you know you you, you don't really have to Again, I guess I'm kind of re repeating myself. It's like you you don't have to make the anatomy the story because I, actually that's it's kind of counterproductive. You 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 want you want what the character is doing to be the story, and then like the the anatomy is is helping is helping helping that helping and inform that. So so you don't always you know you don't always have to draw every bit of anatomy, but because the, the character might be wearing clothing, but you know, it's it's good to to know what what's happening underneath it, um, underneath that clothing, because that will have an impact. Um, one on, of course, like you know how you will render the clothes that are on top, and then number number two, um, just you know it 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 will it will make your whole drawing just look look that much more grounded. So this is my third and 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 last drawing here. Um, so I think this one is going to this one is going to be a female. Um, you can see, yeah, okay, well that 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 arm that I laid down there, and there's like that that dimple, um, that that dimple um, that's actually um, being fed into by the corner of the scapula that's that's going out towards that arm. That from so for me, you know, um, the way I think of it is, you know, like whatever angle like that dimple is at, um, pretty much like the top crest of the um of the scapula is going to be um essentially um 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 on, on this on the same on the same the same line as that so in other words if that if that that dimple is if that arm raises up you know, and, the, and the dimple is 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 now um is in a horizontal position that that means like the scapula has like rotated um down also more towards like a um a um sorry more down towards a a, a, vert a vertical position so you know so if the scapula goes up in a vertical vertical position um that means that that, that dimple is also should be like in, in a vertical position as well You know, I, I've sped the, these these videos up, obviously, you know, to to make it easier for you for you guys to um, uh, to watch it. Uh, I don't know if you want to watch me draw at at regular speed because um, um, I can draw relatively quickly, you know, but but um, I don't know if you want to um, see a, a a video that that'll be um, twice or maybe three times as long as this. But my 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 point is that um, I've um, I've sped it up, you know, to, to to save you guys, um, you know, the um, <laughs> the 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 um, the burden of watching paint dry. <laughs> but uh, what you're not getting, unfortunately, is um, really like seeing, really, really, really seeing like my process. Because actually, I, I I don't when I when I say I draw quickly, I mean uh, means that you know I I can. Um, I can get the the figure down there quickly, but it doesn't mean that my hands are moving like that fast. Um, you know, I do my best to try to draw as like deliberately as possible. And um, you know, the way that the kind of strokes that I make, um, like every, even though it, it might look like uh, the, these these lines are kind of erratic or whatever, um, every line that I do, every line that I do, um, is an individual line. 
So, so you know, when I make a stroke, I pick it up and I put it back down. I pick it up and I put it back down. Of course, in little, you know, you know, tiny, tiny, tiny um, measurements, but but that's what's happening. Okay, so in terms of this 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 woman here, okay, you know, um, uh, she's a little she's a little fleshy, um, but you can see you know like how like the scapula again is is like feeding in um, into like where the deltoid is. Right. Um, you, know, you have you know that trapezius on on, on top of it. I I, I give her a, a, a fleshy one. You know, maybe, maybe you know maybe maybe she's a um, dancer or something like that. So okay, so so that's that's pretty much it. You know, that's 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 um, part part two uh, for for drawing the scapula. Um, I'm gonna come back uh, next week with another video. Um, the, the next one is gonna be fun because um, I'm gonna show you guys like how uh, the scapula is used in, in design in terms of like animation. So you know we're not gonna have all this kind of like this detail that we see here. You know for this kind of like illustrative kind of design um, for for animation, it's it's gonna be even much more simpler. But the important thing that it it it, it does uh, certainly help in um, grounding the uh, the design of your characters and then making them look more realistic so if you like this video uh, please give me a like um, yes please sus subscribe and uh, leave me a comment in in the in the comment section if there's if there's something that that you enjoyed and that you'd like to see more of let me know if there's something that you would uh, um, like to see improved upon please please let me know okay all right thank you very much and I'll see you next time all right bye bye